Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for skipping my sister's birthday party after she ruined my reputation and refused to apologize? I'm 28F, and my younger sister Jody, 23F, is a single mom to her six year old daughter. I help out a lot with babysitting and picking up my niece from school for free so Jody can work. Jody lives with our parents and her new boyfriend, who she's been seeing for a couple of months. So, back in early October, Jody accused me of using our parents' family computer to go on gambling websites, and even claimed I signed up using our mom's debit card while I was babysitting. Naturally, I was shocked. Like, where is this even coming from? I asked her why she would think I'd do something like that. Turns out, money was disappearing from my mom's bank account, and Jody found gambling websites in the computer's browser history. She just assumed it was me since I'd been around babysitting. I was really offended because, seriously, I've never had a gambling problem, never stolen from anyone, and I made it clear to her that it wasn't me. But Jody didn't believe me. Instead of talking it out, she ran to our extended family and told them I was stealing from our mom and gambling online. And now a bunch of them think I'm a terrible person. Some of them even blocked me on Facebook. Like, seriously? Fast forward to the next week, and Jody finds a gambling site on her boyfriend's phone. He finally fesses up that he was the one stealing from my mom and using the computer to gamble. So, yeah, he's the guilty one. But here's the kicker, Jody refuses to apologize to me for all of it. She said it's my fault because apparently I acted guilty and got too defensive when she first accused me. She straight up told me I should have just been calm about it. Excuse me? Then, in late October, Jody's birthday rolls around, and she has this big party planned with all of our extended family. I gave her gifts a couple of days before the party but told her I wasn't going to attend. I mean, I didn't want to deal with all the judgment, awkward questions, or side eyes from the family that still thinks I'm some kind of thief. And honestly, I was still pretty furious that Jody never apologized for completely wrecking my reputation. My parents were understanding about me skipping the party, but Jody was pissed. She called me an asshole, said I was being petty, and that if I didn't want to be part of her party, I shouldn't bother being part of the family at all. So, AITA for skipping my sister's party because she refused to apologize for something that seriously hurt me. Or is she just mad because I didn't want to pretend everything was fine after she dragged my name through the mud? Comment. Aggravating ad. If Jody and her boyfriend are still together and part of the family, then everyone but you is an asshole. Op. They are still together, but her boyfriend is now in therapy and going to gambling addiction support groups. I would divorce my husband without hesitation if he stole from my parents like that, but I suppose it's a step in the right direction. Crazy cat lady. Ente. Although you giving her presents and not demanding that she set the record straight or that your parents do, means you're doing yourself a disservice. She takes you for granted, is unapologetic, and doesn't have to face any consequences for her actions from anyone. Is she the golden child in your family? Hokey Weirdo 12 Yeah, op is an to a self. Quit rolling over and taking it op. Demand sis tell everyone that she was wrong to accuse you, she was stupid for jumping to conclusions, and she is sorry for dragging your name through the mud and stop giving her presents until she womans up and eats her crow. Jeez. Calling water. Sis also needs to be sorry that she brought this guy she's barely been dating into their home where he was able to steal from their mother. And blamed Op instead of him. Of course she doesn't want to own up to her spectacular poor choice in BF and making her family vulnerable when they supported her. AITA for telling my daughter I couldn't have known my parenting would cause her mental health issues. I'm 62, and my oldest daughter, 28F, and I have always had a bit of a rocky relationship. I've had PTSD after fleeing our home country, and looking back I probably had postpartum depression after she was born. I know I was really hard on her, much stricter than I was with her younger sister, 24F. I raised them both with the values I grew up with, which were outdated and pretty harsh compared to Western norms. At the time I thought I was doing what was right, because it's how I was raised, now, my daughter has been dealing with depression, and I've been trying to figure out why. 
Every time I've brought it up, she shuts down and doesn't want to talk. But today, things came to a head. She's a master's student, and even though she passed all her exams, she was really upset that she didn't get the top scores. I was trying to calm her down, tell her she did great, but at one point I slipped and asked, why are you like this? She got furious. She said the reason was me and her dad, that her whole life, she had to earn our approval. She brought up this one time, when she scored for middle education, instead of higher education, where we're from, they separate students based on their grades into different levels of schooling. Me and her dad were so disappointed back, then that we didn't talk to her for two whole weeks. She wasn't allowed to eat with us at the dinner table, so she'd eat in the kitchen standing up or leave her plate outside her room. Hearing her bring that up again made me tear up, I felt so ashamed of how we treated her. I told her that, looking back, we realized that wasn't the right way to handle things. I explained that when we fled our home country and started over, we wanted her and her sister to have the best future possible. It was really important to us that they both get high degrees and good jobs, so they could have a better life than we had. That's why we pushed her so hard, it was frustrating for us to see that she could do better, but wasn't reaching the top. But, yeah, we handled it wrong. Then, I said something that set her off. I told her, we couldn't have known it would affect your mental health like this when you got older, your sister was raised the same way, and she isn't so insecure, so maybe it's a little bit about your personality too. That's when things escalated. She blew up, asking me how I had the nerve to blame her personality after we made her feel like she had to earn our love and approval her entire life. She said that's what caused her depression, and it affects everything she does. She called me an asshole and said I basically told her she has a weak personality. I know we made mistakes. I'm deeply ashamed of some of the things we did, and I wish I could take them back. But part of me still feels like it's not just our parenting that caused her depression. Her sister was raised similarly and doesn't struggle with the same issues. My husband thinks I shouldn't have brought up her personality and maybe he's right, but I just don't believe it's all on us. So, AIT for saying that to her. Edit. Some people are confused about why we were more lenient with her younger sister. I'll admit that her sister had more freedom socially, she could hang out with friends more often than her older sister. When it came to grades in school though, we were just as strict. But my youngest did better in high school, and that's why she was allowed to go out more, while my oldest wasn't either as punishment or because we thought she needed to study more. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.